All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We are watching some more Louis C.K. today. This is called Louis C.K. Selfish or Louis C.K. on Selfishness. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name's Camilla. I like watching comedy. I like laughing. If you're into that, please consider subscribing. Um, if you would like to support the channel even more, you can hit me right here on YouTube with super things. I also have Venmo and an Amazon wishlist. That's how I got this awesome microphone. It was from my, my Amazon wishlist and one of you guys sent it to me. So yeah. All right. Louis C.K. on selfishness. Let's get right into it. Say, I'd like to be a better person. <laughs> I would. I'd like to be a better person. And I think I'm getting worse as a person. Because as you get older, you start finding out. I, let me give you an example before I tell. I was I rented a car a couple weeks ago in Los Angeles. Had the car for a few days, and then when I went home, I had to drop the car uh, at the rental. You know, you got to go to the rental place that's off mm -hmm. the airport. Give them the car. Give them your thing with the mileage. You got to get on a bus and then go to your terminal and check in. I was late and I was worried about missing my flight, so I knew I had no time to do any of that. So I just I never did this before. I just drove my car right to the terminal and just left it there. <laughs> and I got what? on the plane. And once I was on the plane and I had a little moment, I called Hertz and I said, hey, listen, your car is sitting out in front of Terminal 4 and the keys are in it. So that's where it is. What the heck? And the guy was like, you can't do that. You have to return it to this location and then get, and I go, well, I didn't do that already. <laughs> and now I'm leaving California. <laughs> So if you want your car, you need to go to that place where it is. And he was like, oh, Jesus, man. All right, we'll get it. And he, that was the end of it. <laughs> what? And I realized I could do this every time. Every time I rent a car, because of course they want you to do all that shit. But if you don't, they still want the yeah. car back. Yeah, can they not charge you? They're gonna send it, dude. <laughs> you could drive a car till you don't want it. Just get out of it while it's moving and just walk away. Well, I don't feel like I'm being in that car any longer. This is call her, it's hi, your car is drifting into the intersection of 28th and Broadway. <laughs> if you're interested, it's now your problem. But see, this is a terrible realization. Because you should act in a way that if everybody acted that way, things would work out. You should, because it would be mayhem if everybody was like that. And most people kind of don't care. Most people are very selfish. Most people don't give a shit what happens as long as they get to do their favorite thing. People don't even want to back off from their favorite thing. They won't even do their second favorite thing. Like you ever seen somebody in like they're at an intersection and they want to make a left but they're in the right, all the way right mm -hmm. lane because they messed up. So now they're, okay, here's the, here's the guy. He's in the right lane and there's all, a lot of cars, like 6th Avenue, like a lot of cars and he wants to make that left. So what does he do? He just does it anyway. He just goes ahead and he just shoves his car through everybody's <laughs> life without any, and everybody's beep, honking and outraged. And you always see the guy, I, I have to, I have to. There's no other possible thing I could do. What else could I do except go up one more block and then go Yeah, that's what I would do. Seconds. That's not my favorite way, though. That only meets 99% of my criteria. But I, uh, I'm pretty, I'm selfish. I would like to be a better person because I got kids. He I does? Wanna, I know, didn't know that. A better, but I, sometimes it's not clear what the right thing is to do. Like one time I, I threw a candy wrapper on the street and it, I didn't do it like, yeah. I just, <laughs> yeah, I took that shit straight. <laughs> I did it because I was, you know, like shaking. I wanted the candy. <laughs> anyway, I was with a friend <laughs> who said to me, you just littered on the street. Don't you care about the environment? And I thought about it and I said, you know what? This isn't the environment. This is New York City. <laughs> this is not the environment. This is where people live. 
New York City is not the environment. New York City is a giant piece of litter. It's like the <laughs> giantest, it next is. to Mexico City, the shittiest piece of litter <laughs> in the world. Just a pussy, bloody, smoking, Ew. stinking piece of litter. So if you have a piece of litter, what are you supposed to do with it? You should throw it on the pile of litter. Because if you don't, if you put it in a receptacle, then it gets collected and it gets taken to a dump and a landfill and then or it goes on a boat and it goes out and gets dumped in the ocean and some dolphin wears it as a hat on its face for 10 years. This hat that never <laughs> dissolves on its face. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everything that we introduce to the world is shitty. <laughs> Meaning white people. <laughs> because I really think that white people are from like another planet. Because we, like, when we came to America, it was so nice. It was just Indians. And they weren't even Indians. We called them that by accident. Yeah. And we still call them that. <laughs> like we knew in a month that it wasn't Indians, but we just don't give a shit. We never correct it. We came here, they're like, hi, and we're like, hey, you're Indians, right? And they're like, no. No, this is India, right? No, it's not, it's to totally other place. You're not Indians? No. Ah, you're Indians. <laughs> Yeah, Indians for hundreds of years after. <laughs> we ruined everything here. This was the great, it was just coast to coast, just green and brown and beautiful. And, and all the humans were just walking around with painted faces, just walking. And they'd be like, ooh, that looks yummy. And then they just eat from the ground. And then they'd sleep on the grass. And they'd wake up and they'd fuck. And then they'd... <laughs> go for a swim and do a little dance. That was the whole continent was just folks doing that. I mean, there was people in Mexico cutting off kids' heads and rolling them down the pyramid stairs. Yeah. But that's, I mean, that's, that's gonna, that's always going on. What are you gonna, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't do a whole lot about that. But I think we came from another planet, and the reason is because we don't like it here. I mean, why, if we're from here, if we belong on Earth, why aren't we comfortable on Earth at all? We need nice, smooth surfaces and right angles, and we need it to be cool and not too hot, just a little, that's just perfect. Like, why wouldn't, when it's hot, why wouldn't we just, yeah, fuck it. Why wouldn't we be like that if we belong here? And it's weird because people, people that are uh, whatever you call the, you know, there's environmentalists and then there's people who are whatever. They just are, hate environmentalists. But that's what people get angry at environmentalists because they think it's, they're slowing down the economy and creating restrictions. And a lot of these people are Christian. A lot of these people are very devout Christians. And that's such a confusing thing to me that if you believe that God gave you the earth, that God created the earth for you, why would you not be, have to look after it? Why the fuck, why would you not think that when he came back, he wouldn't go, what the fuck did you do? I gave this to you, motherfucker, are you crazy? The polar bears are brown, what did you, what did you do to the polar bears? Did you shit all over every polar bear? What did you, who did this? Who spilled this shit? Who spilled this? Come over, did you fucking spill this? What is that? It's oil, it's just some oil. I didn't mean to spill. Well, why did you take it out of the fucking ground? Because it wanted to go faster. <laughs> I don't, well, I'm not, it's not, I'm not fast enough. And I was cold. What the fuck do you mean cold? I gave you everything you needed, you piece of shit. Well, because jobs. I wanted, what is a job? What is, explain to me, what's a fucking job? 
you go like you work at a place and when people call when they, their game doesn't work and you help them figure it out. <laughs> what do you do that for? For money. What do you need money for? Food. Just eat the shit on the floor. I left shit all over the floor. <laughs> Fucking corn and wheat and shit. Grab it up, make some bread. What are you doing? Yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't have like bacon around it and like <laughs> I like when it has like, like bacon on it and br- <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was funny. That was funny. Obviously that was a joke, right? But like, I don't think that's why, I mean, he's, he was generalizing and saying that Christians don't care about the environment, which I think is kind of, hmm, that's not, that's not right. Maybe he meant to say conservatives because I think it's not that we don't care about the environment. We do. We want it to be nice and all. But I think it's the ideas that we have, like, to replace things. Like, we're replacing oil for batteries. I don't think that's, like, actually doing it, right? That's not solving the problem. Getting what you need to make the batteries is really bad. That's a whole other thing. But he was funny. That was really good. I liked the the whole bit about <laughs> the rental car I can't even, did he really do that and they didn't like charge him extra there's like not anything probably when you sign to rent the car like that if you don't return it there should be why would there not be something hmm hmm I don't know and then when he was talking about uh <laughs> when you need to like make a left turn but you're in the right lane the guy that just like goes to the left lane anyways my husband does that. My husband will do that. He has the confidence to do that. If I am like not in the right lane, I'll just miss it and go back around or turn up later a couple blocks or go around the block, whatever. I don't have the confidence to just like force my way over <laughs> to the correct lane if I don't feel like there's a not if there's not enough time, you know? So, yeah. All right, Louis CK. All right, this is my second, I think, second Louis C.K. video. He's funny. I mean, he's got jokes, obviously. He's like, he's like one of the top dogs, right? Okay, you guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys got some laughs in too. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What the heck? I never say bye-bye. That's weird.